can't teach someone that, but I don't know why not everyone in the world realizes that, that all this other stuff is just complete noise. Now, money is great, but still it's all noise. I I agree. I've got my designer handbags. I get it, but I'll drop that designer handbag to go help a friend if they need me. And that's really the line that you want to draw in your life of what matters and prioritize and you've got your priorities right. You're valuing what you have. You're grateful for what you have. And when you get to the end of your life, you're going to look back and be like, that was a good run, you know, and you're going to cross and all your friends are going to be like, dude, you're a legend. <laughs> yeah, that was great. You're such a good guy. You know, you're making a lot of people proud just by being that good guy and on the other side. And so, um, of course, you're going to feel at peace inside of you. You've got a a center of peace inside of you. Kyle doesn't have, and that makes me sad for her because that's a hard way to live. I've seen people live with what she has inside of her. And that's a lot. It's a lot to carry. So I, I actually, I feel for her that she doesn't have that freedom inside to feel that peace. Do you think this, because it's such a big thing, like a separation and probably a divorce will change that? Like maybe this is the one that she learns from? She's an Aspen mocking me for vaping. I mean, that's her priority. I don't think she's getting it right now. Maybe later, you know, maybe something will happen in her life that'll open her eyes. I thought she would have grown after 13 years. I had no idea that she was still in sort of that place. I mean, we all got older you know, and you're supposed to gain some wisdom and, and learn and pay attention. And I just thought she had evolved (laughs) my mistake. Um, And I was going to say, you know, just after the statement, there are now multiple pictures of her and Mauricio, you know, here we are on the ski slopes together. Here we are. It's like, you're obviously now going out of your way to show that you're happy and together, which Right? Why it's would they file like- for a separation if they're happy and together? I mean, none of that makes sense. It doesn't make sense. So it's not true. It just, that's what we know in law, right? <laughs> if it doesn't make sense, it's not true. It just doesn't add up that they would be taking pictures together saying we're happy. Why didn't they just separate and say, we're going to get a divorce. We're going to part as friends, but we're really good friends. I think people would be okay with that, but to take pictures together Uh, Now, right after this statement was released and say, uh, we're really happy, who are they trying to confuse or convince? I mean, I don't even know. That's just, it's a little crazy. I don't know. Like maybe they didn't use those exact words, but right. There's clearly like, here we are, here we are on this. Now we're doing this. Look at all the kids around. It's like, it really is that overcompensation. They care too much what people think. It's sad. You, and you don't think Kathy is somewhat justified and like, you know, Mauricio did this and he's this. And now like, goodbye, Mauricio, you're leaving our family. I don't think Kathy would be unhappy about that. So Kathy, maybe Kathy and Lisa Vanderpump can go have a drink together. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, that's how, that's how I took her statement. I took it of a, like, we told you this 10, 20, 30 years ago. Yeah, I bet she did. I believe that completely. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think if anything for the sisters, this shows that there could be light at the end of the tunnel for, you know, a reconciliation with their relationship. That's what one would hope would happen. Um, But yeah, there are things people out there in the public just aren't privy to. They don't have the all the information. They watch her on TV and they think, oh, my gosh. She's so lucky. She's so nice, which I don't get that. If if people are getting that energy from her, you're not psychic. Um, but it's interesting because then there are people that really know them that are sitting back going, how are they seeing them that way? <laughs> how do they see them like that? Um, I just know that there were some bad business dealings. You couldn't even call it a business dealings just some shady stuff went off. So I'm, I'm sure Kathy's not unhappy about this. I I don't understand them trying to convince the public that they're happy. I I don't, I mean, good for them. Who cares? Everybody goes through their own trials and tribulations. She doesn't care. Um, 
but I don't understand the trying to convince everyone. I I've never seen, um, a celebrity couple try so hard to show like it's going to destroy their reputation if they don't go on this PR PR march that they're on. I, I don't think it would, I don't think them making this extra effort will change anything professionally for them. So I don't understand what it is inside of them. And I'm sure it's inside of Kyle that needs to still be um, loved by the, the fans and come off as flawless somehow as though separations, the kiss of death, it happens. My mom, <laughs> my mom's been divorced multiple times. I've seen this. A lot of people have, it's going to be okay. The kids are going to be okay. It's going to be fine. So I guess I just don't understand the extra effort that they're making. Yeah. I don't listen. If I was going through something in life, I wouldn't give one fuck what anyone following right. me said, thought of, I would be like, I not even posting on Instagram. The phone is like thrown in the garbage. I don't care. I have right. like a life issue here to work out. And when I do, I'll figure out how to reap, you know, whatever. I wouldn't really care about a statement. How to rebuild your life. Yeah. Like, I wouldn't that's care. A, no, that's up to you. And I think it's what social media really did a disservice uh, to people just living their lives the way they need to live them. And although social media can be such an, an important tool, it, it, it also can be an escape for some people. And then they're not paying attention to their own lives. I think people need to put more energy into their lives and, and worry about the people close to them, or they're going to get to the end of their life and be, and, and say, I didn't do all the things I said I was going to do because I was too busy being stuck at home or taking pictures to impress people on social media instead of actually jumping in the ocean or actually having a good time. So I hope for the people that do that for a living, they're actually partaking in life while they're in these place, beautiful places, taking pictures. But I definitely would not do something like she's doing here um, with trying to convince the world I'm fabulous and nothing is wrong in my life. I don't see a point to it. Everybody's flawed. Everybody knows that. So it's yeah. okay to let your hair down, you know. What about on the show now that they're filming again and picking back up cameras? Like, do you think Kyle is, I mean, she will do anything for, like, she is not with Kim. They had a falling out. I mean, they're fine now. Kathy, like, is there any part of Kyle that is maybe, like, happy they're picking back up cameras? Like, she's oh, pretty- Oh, God, com- yes. Oh, trust <laughs> best believe <laughs> that she's like oh me yay no she lives for it good for her you know the walk the path girl I, I wouldn't want that one that's that's a lot and we we know how producers are on reality shows and and in tv and you know they're 